Hi folks, I'm Zeeshan B. Uh, I'm a musician and a resident artist here at uh, the Doris Duke uh, Shangri-La Museum. Hello, my name is Buck Giles. I'm a, a steel guitar player here. I'm originally from Hawaii and uh, I've been uh, honored to uh, join Zeeshan and um, his visit here in his residency. So. Well, Buck, I, uh, seeing as though this is a show and tell session, um, you know, there's a lot to show and there's a lot to tell. Uh, I, I see that you've got something really cool over there that um, I think needs to be shown and told. This is a 1928 Hawaiian steel guitar, style one, and it's pre-electric because, um, and it has a, it has three cones inside here. It's a resophonic guitar. This is the type of guitar that Hawaiian artists will be playing um, you know, from, from the 20s uh -huh. on and even till today, people sure. are still playing these things. Wow, so, wow. Um, but this particular one, um, I was lucky enough to meet Tao Moy, uh -huh. who is a very famous steel guitar player who toured the world for 60 years. Wow. He left when he was about 19 years old, wow. Hawaii with a hula troupe and, and didn't, <laughs> didn't come back until <laughs> after 60 years. My goodness. But, he traveled to India. Oh, wow. Yeah, so Tao Moy, when he went, he went to then called Calcutta. Yes. And, um, and over the years, he kept returning mm -hmm. and he made friends and um, in between concerts, yeah. and they would stay there for long periods of time, him yeah. and his, uh, um, his cousin, who was named Tao Evi uh -huh. would give steel guitar lessons. Wow. One of his first students, I believe his name was Gurney Niss, mm -hmm. and um, that kind of started uh, a, uh, um, a cross-cultural, um, you know, um, connection mm -hmm. because um, in India they, they have sliding instruments as well. In, I mean, all cultures have some sort of sliding instrument. Like to slide. Yeah, just to slide <laughs> right into the music. <laughs> um, yeah. But in Hawaii, believe it or not, Hawaiian steel guitar was invented here by a guy named Joseph Kekuku um, in uh, between um, 1885 and 1898. But um, Joseph Kekuku was actually the one who um, perfected a method. He actually made a steel bar in, yeah. in shop at Kamehameha schools mm -hmm. and fashion picks and then um, came up with a technique and a method and that's the method that Tao Moy used wow. when he went and played and toured all over. And I know you were telling me that you recall seeing old Indian movies and you were like, hey, there's this Hawaiian music in there. Yeah, there's a really fascinating nexus uh, between these Hawaiian aesthetics and um, Indian film music, particularly with the with the with the lap guitar, um, it's not until I heard Hawaiian music later on, and um, through you know, I should say culturally stereotypical things like cartoons and um, you know Elvis movies and you know stuff that's you know uh, I guess of of dubious authenticity, but nevertheless, when I started hearing that, and I was like, wait, that's the same sound. Maybe that sound is very synonymous with um, music from back then. That's why the geriatric Indian population uh, around the world really, really digs this this stuff because it's just it's 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 just as familiar to them as the sound of a sitar or. Uh, or a tanpura, or a santur, or a tabla. I mean, because it's in the movies, they use it a lot uh, to great effect. And and it's fascinating to hear the the sort of the origins of it and how, of course, it would have to be a slide instrument because Indian Indian instruments are all the impetus is to design them such in such a way as to imitate the human voice as much as possible, which is capable of doing glissandos and slides and. Um, scats and that kind of thing and um, so it, it's just man it's it's just amazing to be in this space with you with this and I gotta say Buck um, this is from the 20s right? Yes 19, 1928. 1928 okay so seeing as though we're in a museum right now you better keep your eyes on this because uh, you, they, you, you might turn around and, you, and, and all of a sudden it's, it's, it's sitting here in their collection. <laughs> right, right. And it's, and it's signed by Tao Moy here. Wow, all, yeah. all the more reason. Um, this. 
this this uh, this could very well be a mu museum piece. So take care of this axe, if you believe. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I will. <laughs> oh, there you go, there you go, you got the, f the, the flat seven. That's I'm, trying, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to emulate that, oh, dude, dude. only you can do that. Oh no, I, I, I uh, feeling the overtones and hearing this stuff that was such, you know, uh, some of the stuff I think of as like the soundtrack of my childhood and interesting enough, the soundtrack of my parents and grandparents because that's what they like listening to those, those and those are the movies they went and watched had this kind of stuff. Um, and uh, so it's really a treat and uh, Fuck man, I'm really excited to like make music with you, um, and uh, I'm really, you know, it's it's just gonna be just amazing. We're excited to bring um, the flavors of uh, and, and the aesthetics and beauty of Hawaii, and uh, whatever it is I bring, uh, you know, uh, putting those elements together. The soul, the soul, the soul, the, the soul, and the slides and more slides. Yeah, yeah, right, right. <laughs> Thanks a lot, brother, yeah, and thank, thank you, you. too. Thank you to Shangri-La for uh, uh, bringing us together. This is really quite a summit meeting. <laughs>